This bout is brought to you by Tent Masters. Casey's leader in window tinting, specifically made to fit your vehicle, home, or business. Fighting out of the blue corner, Danny Moriarty! Fighting out of the red corner, Cameron Tags! FAC Fight Night, let's make some noise! Our referee, Zach Tibris. It's Cash in the dark trunks with the gold. And I don't even know what you would call those for Moriarty. Hey, I don't know, but I like it. And high pace already. These guys are everywhere. Coming up top, mid kick. Both doing a very good job of using that jab to. to, to Bring their range in to find those big shots, a big kick for Mariotti. And that big right hand for Cameron Cash. Clinch came up against the cage. Cash able to turn out of it. Fight clock again by Hoy Excavation. Oh, Over nice open catch. Crowd. Moriarty. Beautiful catch, return there with the, the low kick and, and getting the sweep and getting on top. Trying to get himself to mount. Cash quickly out. Yeah, great get up, got his underhook, immediately start working to his knees, building up and, and getting right back to his feet. Cameron Cash has a, a good underhook here with his left hand, his knees to start circling, getting off uh, Get his back off the wall there. Combo to the body for Cash, but the knee to the head, yeah, Moriarty. Well, knees from Moriarty. Oh, big left hand. Cash to the left. Yeah, the boxing looks crisp. Oh, a little clash of heads. It's like both of them thought about shooting at the same time. Moriarty gets him. Oh, he's came to catch to the cage here. Seems very, very strong. Take down for Moriarty. Yep, immediately working to the back. Gets that hook in. Cameron Cash did a good job of protecting his neck, looking for hand position here. Gets hand control. You can see Moriarty thinking about setting up the choke. Yeah, Cash Right away, swiped it away. Yeah, he's doing a good job of controlling the hand position here, making sure that he doesn't have something to, to, to get the choke with. Keeping his head high, that way he's not getting too much, too much of the weight on his back. He's doing, doing a really good job anticipating where it's coming. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, you're gonna, some of those are gonna go try to work for a switch. Moriarty does a good job of staying with him, ends up on top. I thought Cash might have had that reversal. Uh, he was almost out. Moriarty did a great job of screaming with him. Cash gets right back to his feet. Shook him off. Uh -huh. Thought about the jump kick, and it might cost him. And that's the end of round one. And saved by the bell, maybe, perhaps. Absolutely. Very, very explosive on uh, both guys. You know, they're out here. They're trying to finish. Seeing flying knees. Clinch work, big takedowns. You knew where it was going, Zach, in the, in the first 15 seconds. You said the pace, the, the pace is already crazy. Hey, and that's exactly what it was, three you, minutes worth of that. When you get these guys that are 125 pounds, you're going to have nothing but action. These guys just get after it. They don't get tired. Their pace is insane. So much fun to watch. like that tattoo for Camp Cash. A man who has no imagination has no wings. That's what that says on his chest. Both these guys getting, getting a little coaching. See what kind of kind of changes we're going to see here. So I'm guessing we're still going to get a high pace. Two fight win streak coming in for Cameron Cash. Moriarty, of course, undefeated. 
walk down. Big left hand from Cameron Patchell. Nice right hand from Cameron Cash and stop the takedown, spin him up, and immediately land a hard right hand. Start, it's starting to look like Moriarty's wanting to get this fight to the ground. I think he felt maybe a little strong there, was able to control Cameron on the ground just a little bit here, but uh, but Cash was good, stopping the takedown, landing some hard strikes early. Body shots for Cash. Look at a strong tie clinch here for Moriarty. Up with the mid knee. Cash having a tough time. Knee to the chin yeah, for Moriarty. Oh, knee right to a takedown. Gets his butt grip, pulls him right off the fence, and lands right into full guard here. Cash is cornered. Encourage him to try and get back to half. Now, anytime you're in full guard on your back, it's so hard to start working up. All you can do is, is try to find submissions. We start getting the half guard. You start getting on your side, getting hand control, and start working back to your feet. And had a chance to maybe get out. Now he's, now he's got his left underhook here, starting to get on his side. So he's going to start working back up to his feet. He can use this cage if he can get that right knee up and on, uh, get his hips off the mat. He's got a little butterfly with that left foot. Try and use the cage for posturing. Yeah, Moriarty's doing a good job of cutting them off on the cage on the right side. And getting some ground and pound going. And the effort here from both guys is, is unbelievable. Cameron's is really fighting to get his underhook, get back up to him, uh, get back up to his feet. Moriarty's doing a good job of cutting them off, staying on top, landing some hard ground and pound. Cash did a good job earlier of warding off the choke attempt. Yep, can, no, can, can he do it again? I don't know. He's starting to work back up. Moriarty's doing a good job of holding uh, Cash down now. But at this point, it's like you can either hold or you can submit. You have to let go of one and get to the other. And that's when Cash is going to have to find his way out. Um, we're already moving to mount. Staying heavy here, controlling him. He's going to start looking up to, uh, to either control or now land some little ground and pound. Inside of 30 seconds here in our second round. Now down to the final 15. He's been all Moriarty on the second round here. Can Cash get it to a third? Has to survive inside of 10 seconds. Moriarty. Trying to insert that arm. Yeah, he's trying to get that arm triangle submission. There's the end of the round. And we'll head to a third and final. Yeah, well, it looks like Moriarty. Moriarty made, uh, made the adjustments, really felt a lot more confident on the ground when, uh, in that first round. And you could tell he went out and immediately wanted that again. So Lance is hard striking, uh, set up his takedown, got on top, and, uh, and it was all Moriarty in there in round two. Uh, if you're in Cash's corner, what, what advice would you have? You really need to uh, get your footwork, get your feet under you, make sure you're circling off. You know, that way you're not standing right in front of them on the big shots of the takedown. Uh, really work your striking. And, uh, and this guy's got a lot of footwork. He's going straight in, straight back. He needs to start uh, circling off, cutting his angles, and land some hard, uh, hard takedown. You know, maybe get a takedown of his own there to, uh, to get the end. Heading to round three. Matt Martucci, the UFC fighter, Zach Cummings, our producer, and the brainchild behind MMA Futures, Nathan Rogers. Here we go. Yeah, switching stances, flashing some knees, trying to anticipate that. There you go, just trying to get his own takedown. And goes from orthodox and then shoots inside. Right back to a clinch and another knee from Moriarty. Orthodox for Cash, southpaw for Moriarty. Just with the thigh kick. Left hook for Moriarty. And a takedown right against the cage. So Moriarty's trying to establish, get right above the, the hips here and trying to pull him off the wall. Cash trying to scoot his butt back to the fence and he start getting the knee down, start working back to his feet. This is going to be the battle right here. Moriarty does a 
really good job of circling Cash off the wall, and that way he can start controlling the hips, the ground, and that way he can either kind of step over and just do some ground and pound here that he's doing with that left hand. Cash open guard. That is really, oh, high hips, high hips right back into the mount, back to his feet. And got under him! Cameron Cash! He's got the neck, I don't know if he's gonna try to find a submission here. In on Moriarty, halfway through this third round, got him with the knee! Still establishing that arm, but Moriarty able to get out of it. Just pulls through him right to the fence. Good head position here. And these guys are really getting after it. There's a reason why Danny Moriarty's undefeated. Absolutely, right here. He's finding where he's better at. He's really trying to get the takedown. Cash again trying to establish the arm and couldn't do it. Cash's corner. Yeah, there's there's no quitting Cameron Cash. He's going to, he's trying to find submissions, jump knees. He's doing everything he can to still stay in this fight and get the get the win here. Got that right arm, looking for the jump knee again. Final 40 seconds. Cash looking for his takedown, trying to get his chance on top, see if his game's gonna work here. 30 seconds left to go. Yeah, running out of time, and now against the cage himself. Such a high-paced fight for these guys. Yeah, nine minutes, maybe this is a pro fight one day. Absolutely, I mean, it's every bit of one, 5-0, and 5-1, oh, and one. both these guys going out, leaving everything on the line. Eight Moriarty's, seconds, 10 seconds. Yeah, Moriarty's just trying to slow the pace down right now. He's just controlling against the fence. And he Cash! <laughs> goes clean over the top. Land with a couple of headshots. All the way to the bell. Have at it, Acrobat. <laughs> I really want to see that again. He goes for a flying knee, goes up and over the top. Our replay tonight presented by the Solar Pros, the Solar Guys. Camera Cash jumping all the way up, just slight, lands the knee, gets caught by Moriarty, goes all the way to the ground. A couple hard hammer fists from Camera Cash all the way to the bell till oh, Zach Tyra steps in to the end of this fight. it all out there. Very competitive. I, I, just like you said earlier, this is a uh, professional level fight right here that we're getting on the on the amateur card of the FAC 5. Yeah, about as good as you could ask for. Cash and Moriarty. It goes the distance. And let's find out who our winner is to the ring and our announcer Jason Nivens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, another fight that went the, dense, the distance. Give it up for these fighters once again. <laughs> Judge Geary scores the bout 29 to 28. Judge Marquise scores the bout 30 to 27. Judge Miller scores the bout 30 to 27. Your winner, by unanimous decision, out of the blue corner, Danny Mario. No surprise there. Great fight, but Danny Moriarty just uh, establishing himself more. Absolutely. He, he's finding ways to, to control every round, you know, and, and, uh, and just got to steal every chance. He had some really big moments. Uh, first round was close. You know, second, third, I mean, they, they both had their moments, but Moriarty just getting on top, getting the takedowns, controlling, and, and really just kind of leaning a lot more and establishing a lot more control in that fight. But very high pace. Uh, and, uh, both of these guys have a very bright future, I believe. Yeah, it goes to 6-0 as an amateur.